the game or either side. So about the trade, right? Devontae Adams obviously goes to the Jets. Amari Cooper goes to the Bills. Which move do you think will impact the team more and why? Ooh, I'm going to go with Amari Cooper. I'm going to go with Amari Cooper. Um, I think Devontae will obviously have a huge impact, but – for the Bills, I think you mentioned it. I mean, third down, guys that can win one-on-one consistently against good defenses, um, I think it's going to be huge for them. I think they're going to be able to sustain drives, um, with obviously still be a run team, um, and then obviously what Josh does. But I think Cooper, like I said, solidifying that number one role, and then those other guys that have been, you know, on the on the team so far this year and kind of made plays in, in different games but not consistently as like the number one. I think those are gonna push those guys back to the roles that they're comfortable with and I think that's gonna be huge for their offense and and their you know potential to come to postseason. Man, I'd have to agree with you. Unfortunately I can't go back and forth with you. I have to agree with you, Casey. I mean, I think Amari Cooper had uh twenty uncatchable targets. Shakir, Kincaid, Coleman and Samuel at 18 combined. And Amari yeah. Cooper had an uncatchable target rate of 38%. So if you add that, if you add a separator like that into this Bills offense with the top two quarterback and Josh Allen in the NFL, I mean, I just think it's a recipe for success. I think the Bills are already 4-2 in the division. I think Jets being 2-4 and four with the loss already to the Bills is a hard, you know, milestone, uh, like a milestone to clip or, or – come back from i don't know what i was trying to say there i, I just think it's, it's just gonna be tough for them as well obviously tay garrett wilson ooh, like that's like i think braylon allen said i feel like i'm in madden franchise right now and that's how it feels like this this feels like a team you would create on madden bro so man i'm excited to see and the afc East just got a lot better man yeah man and We'll see what the if Tua can come back. Obviously, I don't really know what to expect, but you know they're still two and three, and you know some some degree. So, yeah, if they can figure out the quarterback there, obviously they have the weapons too. So, um, but yeah, I, I just hope the Jets figure it out here in the next couple of weeks because these are going to be. I think they got the Patriots after the Steelers, and then I forget. I think the Texans. Um, yeah. So they got to take care of business. Yeah, they gotta take care of business before that Texans game because if if you're what would it be three and five yeah. playing CJ and you know maybe they have Nico back I don't know probably not but potentially yeah. um, either way it's gonna be tough so yeah they they gotta take care of business this week it's gonna be a huge huge week for them. I agree. I agree with you, Casey. Steelers defense very good as well. One thing I last thing I wanted to lay down about this is week four. Aaron Rodgers versus the Broncos, uh, final drive. You know, he's not able to get that third down. Zerline has to kick the 50-yard field goal. He misses it. I don't know who you want to blame in that situation. You go to week five. Jets have a chance to win the game after Rodgers turned the ball over three times. He throws a horrible pick to Mike Williams. That's, that's his fault. This game, week six. I know Aaron Rodgers said Mike Williams ran the wrong route, and I, he, like, slipped or whatever, but he had a chance to win the game or to at least tie the game and push, push it to overtime. And he threw another pick. And, like, this is what Aaron Rodgers was brought to the New York, New York Jets for, to win these one-possession games, to win these two-minute drill type of games. And I think three weeks in a row, you haven't seen him be able to live up to that moment. So I, I, think he, I do think he deserves some blame as well. I don't think it's all on Aaron for sure, but I do think he deserves some blame because that's what you're here for, my boy. You know? Yeah. Yeah, last year, I mean, they were 3-3. Three and three. And that's with Zach Wilson. So I'm not saying Aaron Rodgers is washed, um, but he has to play a bunch better, more consistently, um, you know, because the results have to show up here now, especially, like you said, no no real excuses. I get there's a new coach and whatever, but the team, the roster built around you is, you know, really, really good, like you said. So, Do you think um, Rodgers is washed? What's up? Do you think Rodgers is washed? No, no. I think he's definitely not as good um, as a few years ago, obviously. But, you know, I still think he has that capability of being, you know, really, really good quarterback still. Um, just about being consistently enough um, every week. So, you know, I, I wouldn't mind it being washed because I don't like the guy. But <laughs> oh, Man, you got to let the hate go, brother. He's been gone for years now. You gotta yeah, he's been gone for two. Man. 
you got to deal with another <laughs> brother named Jordan Love now. All right. Yeah. But hey, I, they go, man. <laughs> yeah, you're you're right. You're right. Um, 